the square root of two and a hundred seconds. Somewhere, some ancient person said, hey, instead of walking an hour this way and an hour that way, why don't we take a shortcut? And they knew that the shortcut was less than two because the mathematical proof is it's a shortcut. That's what shortcut means. And they also knew that X was bigger than one because look at it, it's bigger than one. Now, in the Babylonian times, according to this uh, stone tablet, they estimated X to be 99 over 70, which was a pretty good estimate. And Indian mathematicians estimated it to be 577 over 408, which is an even better estimate. And I don't think the ancient Egyptians were into this, but this is the way they did fractions. And if they had done this, this would be a super close estimate to what X really is. But the Greeks came along and said, look, hey, this is a useless task we're trying to solve here because they knew the Pythagorean theorem, which says one squared plus one squared equals X squared, X squared equals two, so X is the square root of two. And if a Babylonian came along and said, hey, the square root of two is 99 over 70, the Greeks would say, okay, let's multiply both sides by 70. Now let's square both sides. So 70 squared times two, which is an even number, equals 99 squared, which is an odd number, so that's impossible. And the Babylonians could say, oh, I didn't mean 99 over 70, I mean 98 over 70. But that just reduces to 49 over 35, and you can do the same thing in that this is an even number, and that's an odd number, so no way. And then the Babylonian could say, hey, it's 98 over 71. That's what I really meant to say. And now this is an even number, but this is also an even number. But now we can say 98 squared says 49 times 2 squared, or 49 squared times 2 squared, and we can cross out one of these twos. And now the left-hand side is odd, and the right-hand side is even. And so through this kind of reasoning, the Greeks proved that the square root of 2 it can't be the ratio of any two whole numbers, making it irrational or possibly meaning unratioable, but that's another story.